Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am super excited for because today I have the holiday collection from ColourPop. This is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I am so excited because this brings back so many fond childhood memories, especially at the holidays, so many like family traditions. We talk about that during the video, but you guys, I got to play around with the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter, there's some lip duos, lip scrub. There's so many different things in this collection and we just, we had some fun. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you want to see how I got this look using the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ColourPop collection, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I have the ColourPop and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection. Look at this little palette. Oh my God, you guys, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I get to see my friends and family, the Christmas decorations, just, there's so many family traditions that I have, like going and seeing the Christmas lights, listening to Christmas music, hot cocoa, putting the tree up, like, I love it. I even broke out my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer sweater. It's an ugly, cute sweater. I love this thing. I wore it for Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite sweaters for this time of year. Now, along with this collection, they also have the little clips and I always clip my hair back. So I felt like this was fitting for today. And I, I think, I think I can get them to stay. I think the biggest thing is I just need my hair back. <laughs> so it's not really in the way when I do my makeup. Let's see. These are so cute, you guys. I might have to take these with me for the holiday. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like a little kid right now because I love Christmas. It's not about the presents, it really isn't. I just love being around my family and I'm so excited because I'm going down to Florida to see my parents and my sister and my brother is going to be down there. Just, it's a whole thing. I'm, I'm so excited for it. So besides the eyeshadow palette, there's a bunch of other things. We're going to talk about them, but we need to start working on this eye look because <laughs> I don't have any makeup on. So in this palette, first off, can we talk about the cute little designs? It's so cute. This is one of my favorite Christmas movies. I mean, poor Rudolph, he got picked on when he was a little deer because of his red nose. They put a cap on it and then it popped off and it's just a whole, it's a whole thing. If you've never seen it, go watch it. I guarantee it's on one of the Hulu, Paramount, one of them, they're, they're playing it, I'm sure. So go check it out. Now, this color story, is really pretty. So I'm probably gonna stick with the browns just because I've been doing a lot of the reds lately, but there are some beautiful shades in here. There's some shimmers. Obviously I must swatch them. Okay, so this first one is Misfit Toys. It's just kind of like a purpley, I don't know, champagne -y shade. Then you have North Pole, which is a champagne -y shade, which is great for inner corner highlight, brow bone. Then I have lots of tinsel which I actually don't ever put on a Christmas tree. I know that when I was younger, we would put tinsel on, I think my grandma's tree, but we never did tinsel because we had cats and they like to chew on it. This shade right here is Snowbank, which is also really pretty. It's more of a gold champagne. And then this green shade, this is Elf Practice. So those are some of the shimmers. I mean, there's a couple other ones in here as well. Um, there's this purpley shade right here. There's this burgundy red shade, but you guys, I love ColourPop shimmers. I just love shimmers in general. Let me clean these off and then we will jump into an eye look. Okay. I'm looking at these ears or antlers. <laughs> They're really quite something. All right. So for this eye look, I think I'm going to stick mostly with the brown shades right here. And then maybe play with this purple or maybe this goldish champagne shade I haven't decided yet. 
but I at least know that I want to play with the brown shades in here. So I'm going to go into this first shade right here, Eat Eat. I'm just going to place that in the crease. So put down below, I want to know, are you doing anything for the holidays? What do you celebrate? Because I know not everyone celebrates Christmas. There are so many different holidays all throughout the world. So I want to know what you're celebrating and what your favorite tradition is if you have a family tradition. Because some of my favorite traditions are watching Christmas movies and drinking hot cocoa. Just, I love the festivities for the holidays. In Michigan, where I'm from, there is a place, it's a street, it's just a street and they call it Christmas Card Lane. And everyone knows this street in my hometown. And everyone, when I was little, everyone on that street decorated their front yard. They had a Christmas card and sometimes they would theme all their decorations around it, which was so cool because we would all load into the car. We would have some hot apple cider or hot cocoa and we would go and look at all the Christmas lights. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade Little Buck. I'm gonna put that in the outer V and into the crease a little bit. Still on my fluffy brush because I don't want it too concentrated because we still have another shade that I want to make a little bit darker. But I just remember going and doing all that with my grandmother. Um, when I was little, my mom decided to move us to Florida, but I was really close to my grandmother. So every winter, as long as I can remember, I would, during Christmas break, fly back to Michigan and stay with my grandmother. And then I would go and see my dad's family, my grandmother on my dad's side. I just always spent it with my family. Um, and then fast forward to when I got older, joined the Navy and I'm spread out all over the world. My family's still back home. I kinda, I, I miss them. so. I don't take it for granted because, you know, I never know where I'm going to be, if I'm going to be gone for the holidays. Um, at one point I was stationed in Japan two different times for about five years total. And I would still try and come home to the States, except for one time. My grandmother made the trip to Japan. So we went and saw the Russian ballet perform the Nutcracker. I took her to all my favorite places while she was in Japan. And it was just... We would try and do as many things close to tradition, but you know, it was, it was nice spending it with my grandmother. I just missed all of my family because between every, like my aunt, uncle, my grandparents, my mom and dad, like I just love spending time with them. Okay. So this next one I'm going to use, this one is ready Santa. So I'm really excited for it this year, especially cause you know, my family, my parents moved down to Florida, which is where I grew up. Um, and I would always go to Michigan for the holidays. But this year I get to go back to warm weather. I mean, Virginia is today. It's like 65, 70 and it's December. It's December 1st. Um, but I'm excited to go back and spend it with mom, dad, brother, sister, and just do some new things that aren't necessarily tradition, but also throw some traditional things in there too. With that being said, I will probably pre-record some things so that I still have videos to post for you guys. I mean, I'm only gonna be gone for about a week, but I also don't want to have to worry about, you know, stepping away from my family to edit and post because I have been having a lot of fun with my channel here lately. I know I had taken some time off. I couldn't get back into it. And then January of this year, I just kind of picked it back up and I found a new passion for it. And I have been loving posting. And um, if you saw a couple of videos ago, I did a giveaway for fall, but you guys have been super supportive. I really appreciate the comments and the engagement and having conversations with you as short or long as it might be of a response. I do like hearing your guys' opinions and I do like getting to know you guys. So I really appreciate the support, especially this last year. You guys have definitely helped my channel grow and 
I found a new community on YouTube, so I really appreciate you guys. Okay, you guys, so it's, it's simple. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, we're, we're going with reindeer theme, right? So I think what I want to do is I'm gonna use this shade Snowbank, which is kind of like the gold champagne-y shade. And then I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is North Pole. It's the lightest one, and we're gonna put that in the inner corner and then also the brow bone. But I'm gonna take that on my ring finger. Ooh, that is really pretty. It's very foiled and shiny. <laughs> I, I say that, but I really do love a beautiful shimmer shade. It doesn't have to be overly glittery. Um, it can just be simple and foiled. I just, I think it gives a different dynamic. I'm gonna go back into Ready Santa, which is that darker shade, and just brush it forward to kind of blend the edge on that shade. I also feel like ColourPop has been putting out a lot of collections. like. Another Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, and now Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You guys, like this has been a crazy year for ColourPop releases and I've been for them. Okay, now I'm gonna go into North Pole on my pinky. I'm just gonna place that on the inner corner. Ooh, that is really pretty, actually. I know that once I do my under eye makeup, I'm gonna go in with this brush with that shade as well. Let me go ahead, do this eye, some base makeup, and we have some other products in this collection. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back so we can finish off this eye look, as well as play with some other products that were also released in this collection. I'm looking at some of them, and the packaging is so, so cute. For under the eye, I'm thinking I wanna play with this shade independent together. It's kind of like a, mauve pink shade and I just kind of want to put that underneath and then we'll put in Ready Santa which is that dark brown. You guys I cannot get over how cute this collection is. It is so freaking adorable. Are you guys gonna pick it up? Let me know. I'm interested because I mean, there's a lot of collections that ColourPop puts out, but this one is super cute. And I like the color story on this palette. I actually think I'm gonna have a hard time narrowing down what I take with me to Florida. Okay, now into Ready Santa back on my smudger. Okay, now for that inner corner, I wanna go into this shade North Pole, which was that icy white champagne shade. And I feel like I'm gonna bring it a little bit more forward, just exaggerate a little bit. This is great on the finger as well as on the eye, so I really like that. I mean, some shimmer shades don't pick up well on a brush, I do like that about ColourPop eyeshadows. They really do pick up well on a brush. And this collection even has a highlighter in it, so we're gonna use that on the cheeks. I did already take it out of the packaging, but look at the packaging, it is so cute. Rudolph and his little, like, scarf. I don't even know why I was drawing a blank on that. He's so cute. Okay, so this is the highlighter in Jingle Jingle Jingle. And I know sometimes these have a scent. It kind of has a scent. Nothing too crazy. It's just kind of like a pink champagne-y shade. Yeah, it kind of has a like pinky shift. Okay, so along with the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter, there's a couple other items in here. So Soul Body released a Mega Mood Melt 
Cool Mint Bath Soak in Humble Bumble. You guys, that is the cutest. It's very like clean and refreshing. But look at the abominable snowman. He's so cute. I love a good bath melt, like light some candles, turn the lights off, put a bath melt in there, just put on some music. It's a mood. It's a mood, you guys. Then also, there's these. So in the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, they had the kind of like ornament type of packaging for Sally and the other lipsticks. These are a lippy scrub and a lip mask. So Rudolph is a lip scrub and Clarice is a lip mask. Let me open these up real quick. Okay, so this is the Rudolph lip scrub. Let's see. It smells like cool mint vanilla. I'll have to try this out. I'm really excited to try it. And if I thought about it, I would have tried the lip mask while I was doing my makeup. So this is the Clarice lip mask. It's just a pinky shade. It also has like a berry vanilla, maybe? It smells yummy and it looks so juicy. So, and then there's the Couple of Misfits Lux Gloss Trio. So this has three different Lux glosses in here. And I like the Lux glosses. They kind of smell like um, Fruity Pebbles the other ones that I've smelled. So you just kind of have like this one right here which has an iridescent glitter in it. It smells like Fruity Pebbles still. You guys, I love the Lux, Lux lip glosses. And then you have Dolly which is kind of like that pinky shade. And then you have Elephant which is a peachy shade. They're cute, they have little snowflakes on them. Look at that packaging you guys. Now, the last two things in this collection, there are two lip kits. So there's a Lux lipstick and a lippy pencil for Rudolph and Clarice. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so this one is There's Always Tomorrow, which is Rudolph, and it is a red shade. Ooh, you guys, oh, there's little snowflakes on here. Can you see it? Oh, there's a snowflake press. Okay, so there they are swatched. That is a beautiful red shade. And then the Clarice Lux Lipstick and Lippy Pencil. This is I Think You're Cute. Look how, ugh, that's such an adorable package. Oh, yep, it's a nude shade. I adore nude lipsticks. So let me swatch this one real quick too. Okay, so there they are swatched together. I like this one because it has kind of like a pinky undertone which is my go-to when it comes to nude lipsticks. So let me go ahead, do my eyeliner, mascara, brows, and I'll put my lips on and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back and this is the final look. Now with my eyeliner, I did also bring the inner corners in a little bit further, more than I normally would, just to give kind of like that extended deer eye look. I had thought about doing like the faux deer like white spots using the nightmare before christmas white liquid liner but i have plans tonight so i wasn't really trying to do all of that so <laughs> this is the final look i do like how the eyeshadow turned out it is neutral it's really pretty it's subtle but i also feel like when you get think about like the deer eyes and the doe uh what is it the doe eyes is that what they say I feel like this is the type of look that you would go for, where it's super icy white on the inner corner, you get the light brown shimmer on the middle, and then darker brown on the outside. I could have done a little more dramatic and blown out with the dark brown, but I do like how it turned out with the eyeliner and the mascara, and I just, I used my two favorite ones that kind of lengthened and then made it a little bit more fluffy. And if I wanted to do faux lashes, there's definitely that option if you guys wanna do that yourself. But I did have fun with this collection. It is super cute and adorable. I mean, Rudolph was one of my favorite movies to watch. This color story is super cute. And then his little girlfriend Clarice, it's just, 
it brings back so many fond memories because this was a Christmas movie that we watched every single year. I was just really happy to see it coming out, so I had to go and pick it up. Now, the little ear clippy things, I will probably use these again. There are a lot of holiday events that I have coming up, so I will definitely get some good use out of this, so I'm really excited for those. The highlighter, I feel like I have something similar to this in my collection, so I will look and see what I have, but it is really pretty. I do like how it kind of has that like pinky gold shift to it. And you can't go wrong with the ColourPop highlighters. They are some of the best. And this one's actually through Soul Body, which is um, one of ColourPop's companies. Now, the Luxe Lip Glosses, these are great. I'm gonna chuck them in my bag, especially down in Florida where I may not want to wear a lipstick all the time, but maybe something a little more hydrating because Man, my lips have been going through it with this winter weather. And then the two lipsticks and the lip pencils, you've got a red and a nude, which perfect for me because those are my go-to shades, especially in the winter, I like having a really pretty red lip. So now it's just a matter of narrowing down from what I've purchased so far, what to take with me. Now, I probably should have used the lip scrub in the lip mask because my lips were just not feeling it today. So I will definitely give these a try. Um, and they smell delicious. They smell like vanilla mint. Oh, so yummy. Okay, you guys, I do wanna know, are you gonna pick up this collection? Do you have fond memories of holiday events like this, like I do? Put your comments down below, I'm interested to know. Now, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications to new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in the next one.